frames your wedding tie? No, I've auctioned it. Have you really? Along yeah. with your shorts? No. How much did the shorts go for in the end? 1,850 pounds. Wow. Really? That's good, isn't it? That's quite good. The interview hasn't started yet, but we'll leave this in. <coughs> This is Coogan Cassius Fry from London. We're at the Park Lane Hilton. Very nice hotel, as George was just telling me. Um, to sign with Matchroom Sport. That was a big shock. I don't think anyone saw that coming over the weekend. No, not one person. Not one person How saw. did everyone know? <laughs> don't know. It was all over Twitter, so that's, I mean, the Twitter world, really. Yeah, I, I suppose it was, yeah. Hmm. Was it hard to keep it a secret for about four or five days? I didn't know myself. What, until you turned up here today, you didn't know that Metro was signing you? No. I came here looking for Danny Joshua. I was gutted. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I know that you're going to avoid a certain line of question, but I have to ask you, and you need to tell me that you're not going to tell me. So can we just play this out? Go for it. Um, I'm not going to tell you. Hold on, I haven't asked the question yet. Because otherwise people go, why didn't you ask him that? So I was asking, um, why did you decide to leave Frank Warren? Can you just give us some sort of answer why you decided to leave Frank Warren? Um, me and Frank um, mutually uh, left on good terms. I um, spoke with Frank. No, we're uh, we're okay. We're okay. Um, and then I signed a match room, and then I'm here. The European title fight, which was scheduled for a couple of weeks, um, like I said, it was asked in the press conference was. How much was that a decision to join Matchroom and not take that shot? How much did that come into it? No, I'm not going to answer that question. Okay, fair enough. Um, <coughs> would you rather talk about the Harlem Shake? Talk about what you want, mate. <laughs> <laughs> you can keep asking questions. No, listen, listen, I've got to ask you. If you don't want to answer them, you don't have to answer them. I can't force you. Um, ninth of this month, which is actually this Saturday. This Saturday. Ten rounder. Do you know who your opponent is? No, you should know. You I know asked Eddie. Press release. No, he hasn't sent it yet. I asked Eddie. Yep. Eddie didn't remember at first. Then he said his name. But you should know his name, I suppose, if you're fighting him. Don't bother me. I'll fight anyone. True fighter. True fighter. True yeah. fighter. True ignorant, dumb fighter. I'll fight anyone. Yeah. I'll just, I just show up and then I leave it to everyone else to do the rest. You're on the Frotch case or undercard? I am. Um, is there a... Go ahead. I don't know. I heard it. Okay, go Somewhere in a press conference today. Right. Um, Frotch case or undercard. Do you think there's a possibility that you may still fight for that European title on that card? I don't know, to be honest. Um, that's out of my hands. I'm just a dumb, ignorant boxer. I'll um, leave that up to my team, my, my management team. Uh, Adam, my manager, and, and Eddie Herm, my new promoter. Um, I can safely say that I'll be boxing in a in a big fight. Um, Eddie's obviously committed to to me. He's uh he wants to put together a, a great great night of boxing. Um, Carl Froch, Mikel Kezer's a great fight, and uh, I'm chief support, so I need to you know be in a great fight as well. Uh, so we we'll, we'll you know we've got a few a few months now to to plan that fight. Let's get through Saturday, uh, and then we'll, we'll see uh, where we go from there. Eddie Hearn said. Um, a few months ago that it would have been medically unsafe for you to face Carl Froch. Now you're actually signed to him. Um, what do you think about that? I think he retracted that statement. Do you not think? He slightly retracted it. I did ask him. He slightly retracted it. But he did say, is George ready to face Carl now? He said no. Hey, you know. We'll see, won't we? You That's know, what he said. He's, he's, no, Eddie, yeah, Eddie's doing his job, you know. He's, we don't believe anything we hear in boxing. Um, I'm not even sure if I'm here today, so um, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. Med I don't doubt it's medically unsafe, but um, at the same time, um, he's team frutch. But uh, I'll, I'll swing him. I've only been I've only been on the job ten minutes. Give me give me give us a chance. No, I wasn't asking about potential fight. I was just asking about his comments. That's what I was talking about. They're great, aren't they? Adam Booth is trying to hijack yet another interview today. Right. I always only get two minutes left on the battery by the time you come to me. That's all right. Always, every time. You cut out my best bits. We never cut out anything. That's what's so good about iFilm London. But this may change today. <coughs> it might change today. Um, George, you look like you've got a tweet, so I'm not going to take too much of your time. I've got a text from Tony Dodson. Yeah? I haven't read it yet. I just saw the name. All right. Um, do you want to just talk about your show? Tony Dodson's fighting for the super middleweight British title. I used to hold that. 
What's that? Oh. <laughs> One minute. What's that? Are you that much of a cock? You've got to do this again. Let's do it again. Let's do it. Let's get this bit. It's this bit. You ready? Shit, singer. What happened? I missed it. I think the tape's running out. George, just sign us out. How happy are you? I'm being so happy you. I could... Being with you? Yeah, being with me, obviously. It was one minute, a minute ago. <laughs> right, one minute. Two minutes, Turkish. Go. Just, just say something, George. Do one, it. One minute, Turkish. One minute. Yeah. Do the Harlem Shake again. Wait, wait. <laughs> um, oh, I, oh, wait, what, I was... What, oh, quick. Wait. Quick. George, quick! Oh. Do, say, say what we were going to do before. Oh, quick. the important thing. Yeah, when we drove in. Quick! Quick! George, no, no, tell us. Quick, because the actual tape's running out. <laughs>